All right, hello everyone. This is episode four of Tech Talk with Ryan and Michelle. Michelle and Ryan. Sorry, Michelle and Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> and so today we're going to be going through how I use Google or how I would use Google Gemini to make a YouTube video narration and script starting with an image. From soup to nut? From soup to nut, exactly. I'm excited for this little lecture here. Yes. And so as you can see here, what I want to do is make a, come up with a video of my favorite swan family. Yeah. Now this is a very popular on my channel. I've had a lot of successful swan videos. Mm -hmm. And this is one of my favorite images of the swan with their little signets here. And so what's really cool now is that AI is not only just text-based, they're trying to become multimodal where you can integrate images and so what you can do is use this little button here to attach an image. Now right now it's only capable of doing one image. So I've already attached that. And then I would be able to write in my prompt. So I could simply say, let's just start off easy. Um, give me a title for a YouTube video inspired by this photo. Okay, so now it's working away. And look wow, at that. Wow, that's very fast. Exactly. It pumps out a few different titles. Okay, Swan Family Serene Swim, A Day in the Life. I think I've used that myself before yeah. AI was a thing. Exactly. Swan Lake Nursery, Signet Swimming Lessons. So mm -hmm. it's giving these couple of different ideas. And so what I can do right away is, all right, I like this, fan. I like this title right here. So then I can copy that and put that into here. And then I can say, um, I can build out a narrative or a script from this and say, okay, I want to use this title. And then I would say, please, please use, sorry, this title. Come up with a beautiful romantic story of the Swan family pair with classic mu classical music. That's what yeah, I would want. I see. Paired with classical music and make this in the form of a YouTube video. All right, so then the idea is we would be able to ask for a narration or a script. That's so fast. Exactly. Look at this. And so what, what they've already done here, so we've, we've wow. used the title that they provided. Now they're even giving us the thumbnail possibilities. And we can act, later we'll ask them to generate the thumbnail for us. And I'll show you. Really? Yes. And then they've given us music possibilities. I already use... Um, a couple of these songs for myself, actually. Yeah, I think I like this one. Box air on a G string. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And, and so now this is going to be our script. Look at that. They even talk about opening shots of a serene lake at dawn. And you have the cannons begin. So they, the music. And then they have the narrator voiceover. In a hush of dawn, a timeless love story unfolds the tranquil waters of a hidden lake. And so what's really cool about this is you can even be, even before you go out to do your photo shoot, you can put something like this in and then now you've got to focus on, all right, what kind of images should I take? What I kind of video it. should I take? Or you've just taken a ton of video and you don't know how to organize it and then this gives you an option here. Yeah, so one thing that we have in, in the pond of our Swan Lake are these water lilies. Yeah. So if you want to take advantage of that, you can choose a photo or a screenshot of, from one of your videos with swans, signets, and these water lilies. And exactly. you can make a big deal in your prompt that you want to showcase more of those flowers. Yeah, showcase more of the water lilies. What can I do with them? Exactly. Oh, and look, Claire de Lune. That's actually a song that's in the YouTube music alg yeah. uh, algorithm. So you could add I only want music that's already provided by YouTube exactly. royalty free yeah exactly and so that would be cool 
Um, all right, so this is really cool. So now we've got this nice narration. They're giving yeah. you a description of what you should do. I, I really like what you're, the concept you bring up here. Yeah. You may not know how you want your story to go yet. So before you go out there to your photo shoot, use this prompt or this result as an inspiration. Exactly. And then boom, look at this. Additional notes. Consider high quality drone footage. Oh. Aerial views of the lake and swans. It's like this, per, uh, this Gemini knows you. Yeah. Slow motion and time. Like these are all things that I have put in, but it took me two years to figure that out. Here, it would, they spit it out in 15 seconds. Yeah. Oh. I'm just going to say photo of swan family. Dreamy filter applied. Ah, wow. Okay. Yeah, so it just can't do the text. It can't there. do the text. Yes. That's silly because that's so simple. I know. Ooh. Wow. So these are some pretty incredible images that they've generated. Yeah, I love I love the the upper right one. Yep. And this is kind of cool. Very dreamy. Yep. Soft filter. And it's extremely realistic as well. Yeah. Well, another thing we can do is uh, we can ask for thumbnail suggestions. Um, you know, uh, provide more detailed suggestions for thumbnail. <laughs> this video. Ethereal focus. This is creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always saying that word. Dreamy landscape. See, this is where they're telling us what type of text overlay, which is extremely important. You know what I think? Um, I want you to refine your prompt uh -huh. and add in, um, I want this thumbnail to be eye-catching and um, attracting viewers' attention. Just put in that. As a qualifier. Yeah, I will do that. One quick thing I want to say is this is really cool, this additional tips where they're giving you suggestions for the type of font, the color, the layout, where the text is. Pastel pink. I like it. Yep. Because <laughs> all these things I do have confusion about sometimes, right? Where, where should I do it? But these are giving some suggestions. Okay, so now provide... Yes, an eye-catching, eye-catching, attention-grabbing thumbnail that will get me the most views. Yeah. And that's what everybody wants, right? Yep, everybody wants the views. Clickbait, Clickbait curiosity. <laughs> exactly. Oh wow, so. Clickbait curiosity, emotional appeal, drastic, dramatic contrast. That's pretty cool. These are some really interesting ideas. Oh, and don't forget, you can always have Gemini read it out loud to you. Catching and attention grabbing thumbnail suggestions designed to maximize views for your video. Photo of the Swan family with a soft focus. Thoughts of the swans. I must say I've used them all. Yeah. <laughs> so that's really like adding a question mark. All the, And these are basically giving you the reasons why this type of technique works. And then you can choose whether to use it or not and when to use it. Yeah. And obviously they want high quality images, emojis. And now YouTube is rolling out these A-B tests. Yeah. Testing out different thumbnails, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you should copy and paste those four options and make it into like a refrigerator magnet or a cheat sheet somewhere yeah. handy. <laughs> <laughs> Have some kind of a cheat sheet, exactly. Um, yeah, so I, I thought this was really cool. So maybe now let's see if they will offer four more. Um, please provide four. For new thumbnails after this advice.
So that's the thing I really like about this Ooh, is that wow. it's a conversation. I didn't have to rewrite the whole thing. And now it actually gave me text, whereas before it didn't. What is this? It, it must be something on his nose, like little, I don't know, or... Something's like... It's a much bigger, <laughs> kind of a mutant swan. That's definitely a mutant swan, yeah, not so, a mute swan. No, it's, oh, yes, that's very smart. They thought it was a mutant swan <laughs> instead of a mute swan. Yeah, so I, again, I like the upper right quadrant. Yep. And um, what I would do is have the signet looking straight into the mother's eye, and that would provoke strong emotional response from the audience. Exactly. And if you want to do one of your own images, you can use this as inspiration yeah. for what you're gonna seek out and everything. And look at the angle. It's, you wanna get eye level yeah. if you're looking for the perfect thumbnail. Wow. Right? So then this is gonna teach you, all right, I wanna get down there, I gotta get down on the ground and take this image and that's what's going to work. All right, so now that we have idea of our favorite thumbnails, the narration, let's figure out how do we end this. So what I want to ask now is how do I end the video with a call to action? Yeah. To watch more of my videos and subscribe. And maybe you can qualify the, these videos as your swan video. And don't forget, the reason why Gemini is the best to use for YouTube is because it is Google. Yeah. Google is YouTube. So that's why I'm specifically having us go through Gemini because chat GPT probably wouldn't be as informative. Hey, look, there's a toggle on the YouTube. Yes, look at what that. What is it? Query successful. Wow. So it actually was able to go into YouTube to get the most important information. Um, now, while we're here, I, what I want to say is that I've, so for this, I've been using Gemini Advanced. Mm -hmm. Now this, right now I'm on a two month free trial, but um, eventually it's going to be, I think, $20 a month. But we are always going to have access to this Gemini Advanced. So and eventually in the future, we're thinking of doing some live streams where we're actually going to be able to have anyone in the chat ask the type of questions they want and they're going to have access to the Gemini Advance. Um, yeah. And we can help you guys out with any questions. Yeah, and based on experience, Gemini Advanced um, can read my prompt a little better and give a more informed answer than the basic version. So that's another thing we can showcase as well. All right, but let's take a quick look at what do they say. Okay, so here they're giving us some quotes. Um, be sure to subscribe for more swan videos. Classic. Yep. Check out my other videos about swans or leave a comment below. Um, more, support my channel by becoming a patron. Now, though, you know, we do have memberships on this channel. So asking for support and all that is great. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a reasonable ask. Uh, if you want to support my channel, you can become a member and that helped me make more swan content. Yes, yeah. exactly. And what I really like is now they've combined it all into one sentence. Mm -hmm. So be sure to subscribe for more swan videos. Check out my other videos about swans. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this video. And so that's putting it all together. Yeah, and then they have really great advice right underneath. Keep it short and sweet. Make it clear what you want viewers to do. Use strong verbs. Mm. Create a sense of urgency. Make it personal. It's like running a campaign here. I know. <laughs> They're really like working hard for Google. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so make it personal. You know, be that you're really speaking to the audience. The audience feels heard and everything. I like this strong verb. So I can even ask, what is an example of strong verb? Of strong verbs. Like and subscribe, I bet, are two strongest good. verbs. <laughs> yeah, that would be good for YouTube outro. And that's the cool thing is that you can just... Discover, oh. uncover, embark. Yeah, so all right. So like 
immerse yourself in our swan videos, check out this playlist that is right here in the top right corner. Yeah. <laughs> or dive into the life of the swans. Yeah, or like move your uh, finger to the playlist and click. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at this. Don't miss out on the swantastic fun. Oh my God. Dive into my playlist of captivating swan footage and subscribe for more feathered adventures. Wow. <laughs> so it's like they're really giving you these incredible ideas that are kind of punny, almost some of them kind of cringe worthy, but it could be really fun. People will, it's inspiring. It's inspiring and it gives you personality. Yeah. Right. And it says here, look, the outro is catchy, concise, uses strong verbs to compel the viewers to take action. And that really works. I'm sure that could work. And this is giving you the inspiration. Yeah, it, it works more than not putting anything in at all. Exactly. So, all right, well, so don't miss out on our future podcasts. And oh, yeah. Subscribe. Immerse yourself in all of these podcast goodness. Exactly. And learn how you can use AI to advance your creativity and your productivity. And if you have any request for different AI platforms for Ryan and I to explore, please leave a comment down below and yes. let us know. Yes, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.